่อค่ะเว้ย Thank you. So, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining for today's webinar. Um, we're introducing the master's degree of management program from the University of Huddersfield with Coursera. My name is Nisha. I'm an enrollment counselor at Coursera. Joining me today is my fellow enrollment counselor Diana. She'll be answering the Q and A's in the chat box, and we have Alexis joining us from marketing today, who will be monitoring the slides. We do have a very fun packed agenda today. We're gonna to be covering the following topics, as you can see. So we'll be going over an overview of the master's degree of management. We'll be touching upon admissions requirements, standard and performance-based entry. We'll talk about the tuition fees. We'll talk about an application checklist. And then at the end, we'll do a live Q and A. So please, in the meantime, do feel free to write any questions that you have, and I'll be able to answer them at the very end. And Diana will be able to answer them throughout the webinar. But Let's get started, shall we? So if we go on to the next slide, fantastic. So a lot of people joining today's webinar may want to understand who the University of Huddersfield are. Let me explain. The University of Huddersfield are a public research university based and located in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, England. I wanted to discuss about the significance of this amazing university and program, and I want to showcase the array of accolades that highlight the university's commitment to excellence. As you can see on the slide here today, we have many, many accolades for the University of Huddersfield, um, and I want to go through these with you. So, the University of Huddersfield uh, Business School is marked by its exceptional quality, being an AACSB accredited. The AACSB accreditation stands for the Association to Advance Collegiate School of Business, and less than 6% of the world's business schools which offer business degree programmes hold this accreditation. The university has also been recognised as the UK's top young university in the Times Higher Education in 2024. Outstandingly, it was also deemed as the Business School of the Year at the prestigious Times Higher Education Awards in 2023, underscoring its commitment to business education. For exem exemplary education efforts, the University of Huddersfield have earned a five-star rating from QS Stars. Did you know that the University of Huddersfield's staff are the top three in England for the proportion of staff who hold doctorates, have higher degrees and hold teaching qualifications? So you'll be learning from some of the best, helping you to become the best. And the University of Huddersfield is also the most improved university in the UK as per the 2025 QS World Rankings. So this striking combination of accolades paints a university truly dedicated in making sure that you're getting educational accents, making it a prominent choice for students worldwide. And as you can see, the University of Huddersfield have some amazing accolades and accomplishments, that, and they've decided to launch this brand new master's degree of management program online with the Coursera platform. So I want to discuss with you what you can expect when you study the program on the Coursera platform. So if we go to the next slide, I'll talk about this in detail with you. So as you can see on the slide, there's some information, and I'm going to go through this with you step by step. So let's talk about what you can expect when on the program and how you'll be studying it too. So the master's degree of management program is designed specifically for online delivery and it's taught by the same world-class faculty of award-winning academics and industry experts that teach on campus at the Huddersfield Business School. So as a distance online learning student, you will receive the same standards in teaching excellence as Huddersfield on-campus students. And the university does not outsource any teaching, so you'll be taught by the same highly qualified academic team which is very exciting. And what a typical day might look like for you is that you'll log onto the Coursera platform and you'll see that the courses that you registered for appear on your dashboard. You'll notice that this program runs using a blend of pre-recorded video uh, content, written study materials and live sessions. Uh, courses in do include supplementary readings, pre-recorded video lectures, assignments and discussion forums to help you spark connections and build networks with your peers. In terms of time commitment, you will be putting 12 to 18 hours of studying time every week, and you can study in the mornings, the evenings, or the weekends. There will also be two hour live sessions available. We would advise learners to attend, but so that you can benefit from the learning and the online community. The live sessions will be held twice a week, every four weeks to accommodate time zones and learner availability. But of course, don't worry if you can't attend, they will be recorded for you to watch, but if you can, I'd highly recommend because you'll be learning from some of the best. 
The degree can only be studied over two years, which is 24 months part-time, and it's studied entirely online through the Coursera platform. The programme has seven modules, which are 20 credits each, and a 40 credit research project to complete. Each module is 12 weeks long. 10 weeks for a course, plus two weeks for the assessment. There are no examinations for this programme. There will be a split between multiple choice question tests and written coursework. There will also be a reflective piece for one of the modules, but there will be no group work and all work will be individually based. The way that the assessments are designed are by taking the knowledge of what you've learned from the programme and then applying it. The assessments grading varies by module, for example, the multiple choice question test, which may come early in the module, may weigh at 20% and then 80% of your grade will be down to the individual assessment, as an example. And the course is great for those who want to pursue a career in management. Um, the degree is ideal for learners who may want to wish progress in management in their workplace or gain a really better understanding of how businesses work. This course should prepare you for a career in a wide variety of organisations and managements or leadership roles. And as you can see, there are three different intakes. We have September, January and May. The next intake that we have and the one that we'll be discussing about today is about January 2025. So if we go on to the next slide. Thank you. I would love to discuss about the admissions requirements. And this is a question that we get from learners a lot. So let's talk about this and, and further break it down, shall we? There are two entrance pathways for the degree programme. You have standard and you have performance based. Now, let's discuss about the standard entrance requirement. In order to be eligible for the standard entrance route, learners must hold a bachelor's degree. Now, the international equivalent, Diana will drop down in the chat box below so that you can double check what your equivalency will be here in the UK, but you must have at least a 2-2 grading or above in any subject or any discipline. It does not need to be from a business background per se. With regards to that, applicants with other professional qualifications and or experience will be considered on an individual basis. Now, the second requirement that is needed in order to go through for the standard direct entry is an English language test. Now, if your first language is not English, you will need to meet the minimum requirements of the English language qualification. So if you have not studied in English um, or an English speaking country in the past two years or have not worked in English for over 18 months plus, you will need to provide an English language test. The English language tests that are acceptable are a Duolingo, which you would need 105 overall, or you would need to provide an IELTS, which is overall 6.0 with no band lower than a 5.5. Um, Diana will be listing this in the chat box below for your reference, so you can just read through what I've just discussed. Now, let's say that you're, you don't meet the standard direct entry route. Let's say if your professional and academic background doesn't match the program and admissions criteria via standard, um, you can also enroll via the performance-based admissions route. And as you can see here on the slide, this does explain it. So let's say if a learner doesn't have a degree or if a learner has a third class degree, the performance-based route would probably be best suited for your needs. Please note that if you apply for the standard direct entry route, but you don't meet the requirements, the university will automatically review your application as a performance-based application as well. Now, the performance-based admissions entry review is based on students successfully completing a 20-credit module. You'll complete one of the three possible courses, depending on whether you're applying to join in September, January or May for the master's degree of management. In this scenario, we will be discussing if you enroll for the strategic management module in January 2025 and successfully complete it, you'll be able to join the full MSc intake in September 2025. Now, Diana will drop down in the chat box below about the PBA module schedule so you can have a look as well but you must pass this module on your first full attempt to be considered for entry to the full master's degree program. Once the Central Applications Board has confirmed the credits for your module, you will be invited to apply for the full course at the next available entry point. And the module will then be considered as part of your full MSc application. If you do opt for the PBA route, or if you get accepted for the PBA route, you will need to pay £990 for the first module before teaching starts. You'll then pay the remainder of your total programme fees once you've had confirmation you've passed the performance-based module. And in this instance, it would be the strategic management module. 
the PBA module will run for 12 weeks. They're already part of the master's degree program curriculum. So it's not a pre-sessional test or an examination you need to complete beforehand. It will go and count towards your full master's degree. Um, and the performance-based module will still require learners to meet the English language requirement. As Diana's listed in the chat box below, you can see what you'll need to do in order to meet the English language. But if we go on to the next slide, we'll start discussing about the tuition fees for the program. Thanks. So let's discuss about this. This is a really important topic for the master's degree program, and I know most students want to know more about it. So I'm going to discuss this and break it down. And if you have any questions, then please feel free to put it in the chat box. So let's discuss this. The total program cost is 8,900 Great British Pounds for this entire degree program. And what does the cost include? So it would include your online lectures, seminars and tutorials, access to the online library services and the university's learning and innovation and development center. It will also give you access to the University of Huddersfield's enterprise team, student support and wellbeing services, student union membership, course administration and graduation ceremony, including guest tickets and reception, but excluding gown hire and photography. So that's a lot, which is fantastic. But let's discuss about the finance options for the degree program. With flexible finance options from the University of Huddersfield, you can either pay for the program in full when you enroll, so you pay the £8,900 in one total go, or you can pay for the program in instalments per year of study. So for example, for this master's degree is two years, you'll pay 25% of enrollment, 25% five months later, 25% at the start of year two, and then your final payment of 25% five months after that. Each payment would be £2,225 for each payment. And please note, if you do pay in yearly instalments, your tuition fee may increase after the first year of study, rising in line with inflation. And this will be listed on the University of Huddersfield's website. Um, the payment portal for this program for January 2025 will open from November 4th. So if you already have an offer, don't worry just yet, you can start paying from November 4th onwards. And I will discuss how that works. So as mentioned, for the performance-based students, you will need to pay £990 for the first module um, before teaching starts. And as mentioned, once the Central Applications Board has confirmed the credits for your module, you'll be invited to apply for the full course at the next available entry point. For January 2025 students who have been accepted for through performance based or will be, you'll be having to do the module and then you'll start the um, full master's degree from September 2025. Now, the most convenient way to pay for the University of Huddersfield program is online. The secure online payment facility allows students to make payments to the Huddersfield University directly from any computer or PC. Diana will drop this link into the chat box below for you to review. Please note there are no additional costs or applications re fees required for this programme. If you are looking to understand what financial aid there may be, Diana will also be dropping the link in the chat box below for you to review. And Learners can get postgraduate loans for this program, uh, employer tuition reimbursement, and graduates from Huddersfield University can also get a 10% discount. You can also take a look at the Coursera funding options uh, that are available. Diana will drop them into the chat box below for you to review too. But hopefully, if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat box below. I can see there's a few coming through, which is great. But let's go on to the next slide. Great, let's talk about application checklists. So I'm gonna discuss about the standard application requirements. So applications are currently open. And if you wish to apply for the master's degree of management program as a standard direct entry route, you will need to follow the following procedures in order to apply. So you'll need a copy of your academic certificates. Uh, you'll need to provide translated copies as well. So if it's in a different language, make sure it's got the English translation by side by side. You'll need a copy of your full transcripts. Same with the original and translated copies. You'll need a copy of your English language certificates where applicable. So as I mentioned, if your first language is not English and you haven't studied in English or work in English, you will need to provide an English language test, either a Duolingo or an IELTS. Um, You'll need to provide a personal statement. Uh, there's no maximum limit. Diana will drop this into the chat box below about how to write a personal statement for postgraduates. It'll give you tips and guidelines. 
You'll need to provide a copy of your photo ID as well, driver's license, passport, whichever is possible for you. If you've been advised to do so, a copy of your uh, resume slash CV. You'll also need to provide one referee detail, academic or professional in this scenario. Like I mentioned, if you're unsure as to what your grade would be equivalent to here in the United Kingdom, students can check their qualification equivalency at the University of Huddersfield's website. Diana will drop this in the chat box below again for you to review. And students can apply for the standard direct entry route so long as it's equivalent to a UK level six qualification as that should be sufficient. As discussed before, no application fee is required for the programme. You would just need to apply directly through to the University of Huddersfield online portal and submit copies of your documents rather than the paper copy. Diana will drop the link to the online portal into the chat box below. So if you want to start making your application or go back in and start finishing it up, you can today. Now, a scanned image or a clear pho photograph should be sufficient for the admissions department to review your application. But students who submit to fail or provide all the required documents, you will be asked to provide this to the university as well. So make sure that you do so. The deadline to apply for the program for January 2025 is January the 6th. So if we go on to the next slide, we'll discuss a bit more about the performance-based application. Now, for those who don't meet the standard direct entry route, I would love to provide you with a checklist so that you have all the information you need to successfully complete a performance-based application by the deadline. As we've discussed, this online program offers a performance-based admissions entry route based on you successfully completing a 20 credit module. Now, when you're applying for the program, the first ever page will come up with a course selection. In order to make sure that you are applying for the correct um, module, um, if you are applying for January 2025, and if you enroll for the strategic management module, you will need to do the following. Um, as you can see on the slide, when you select the application portal, you should select postgraduate tour, level of study, part-time study mode, and January 2025. If you wish to enroll for the strategic management module in September, um, for the January 2025, in order to then be able to get onto the September 2025. Um, so that's just so that you're aware. But as you can see, to apply for the performance-based um, admissions route, the application checklist would consist of writing a personal statement that can demonstrate your suitability for the program, I would recommend writing more about your career achievements, aspirations, as to why you feel like you'd be a good fit for the programme. You would need a copy of your personal ID, uh, driver's licence, passport is more than sufficient. Um, like I said, you will need to provide an English language test if your first language is not English. If you have been advised to do so, a copy of your resume slash CV and ensure that you include contact details for one referee. In this scenario, it will probably be a professional um, reference. So a manager, senior leader, supervisor would be more than sufficient as well. Once submitted, your application will then be sent to the University of Huddersfield's admissions committee. It will take approximately three weeks for them to review your application. Once they've made the decision, they'll email you directly to let you know if you've been offered um, an unconditional offer or a conditional offer for the program, whether that be standard or through the performance-based applications route. But let's talk about that. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek as to what happens after you submit your application. So if we go onto the next slide, I can show you this. Thank you. So let's take a sneak peek behind the curtains. Let's say you've already submitted your application and I know a few students have already done so. So let's discuss this. So once you've submitted your application to the University of Huddersfield, you will receive an email confirming that your application has been received. PSA, do check your spam folder just in case. Sometimes it does land into there. The admissions committee will then review your application. It will take approximately three weeks for the university to make a decision. However, this is dependent on successful completion, correct documentation being submitted with your application. Therefore, I would strongly recommend and urge students to provide a document such as certificates, transcripts, English language uh, proficiency tests on the application portal as missing documents will lead to delay in response. Uh, once your application has been reviewed, you will receive either a conditional or an unconditional offer of admissions onto the master's degree management program. Offers will be sent out to students via email and your offer letter will detail the next steps. Please note that if you do have a conditional offer, you will be required to provide further evidence in order to change this to unconditional. 
the first step would be is to accept your conditional offer to the University of Huddersfield. And then secondly is to provide the documentation and you will be asked to email your official results and certificates to the university. Now, let's say if you receive an unconditional offer, you will have to formally accept this too by emailing the University of Huddersfield saying that you accept the offer. So for both, conditional or unconditional, do accept your offer via email. But once you've officially accepted your offer, you will receive your next steps email from the university. Now, this email should be coming out from November 4th onwards. So if you haven't got it yet, don't panic. You will get it very, very soon. The course joining information will be made available via the MyHUD application portal prior to the start of the course. The university will contact you closer to the start date in January with your username and password for MyHUD and the university student portal where you will be able to access information relating to enrollment and the orientation course. Now, you will also be able to access a formal confirmation of acceptance letter from the portal, which can be used as confirmation of your place for official purposes. Now, you will receive further details about the enrollment process uh, approximately one month prior to the start of the course. You'll be invited to complete your orientation course on the Coursera platform before the course starts. This is mandatory. The mandatory Coursera orientation course is needed to be completed before the course starts in January. It will hold valuable information regarding your course for you to read through before starting. Um, and once you've completed all these steps, you will start the course in January 2025, which is very exciting. So if we go on to the next slide, I would just love to talk a bit more about the key deadlines and just revise it so that everyone's aware. So as you can see from the slide, we have the application deadline, which is January 6, 2024, uh, 2025. Um, and then we have the next steps email, which will be coming out on November 4th, 2024. And then the classes start on January 13th, 2025. So if we go on to the next slide, I can start answering any questions that we have from students. And I can see here that we have um, a lot coming through. So let's go through these. Okay, these questions are great, guys. So I'm just going to go through these now. Fantastic. Okay. So I have a question here. I graduated in 2005, so I have my degree certificate, but no longer have my transcript. Is the transcript mandatory? Will my previous uni still have a copy? That's a really good question. So with regards to that, it depends on your university, but your university should usually hold transcripts and certificates together. So if you are, if you only have your certificate, but you're still wanting to get your transcript, you will need to ask your university if your transcript is still available. If it isn't, for whichever reason, then you can book a meeting with me directly. You can scan a QR code and we can discuss about what to do next steps because we'll need to discuss as to how best to help you. But typically, you will need to provide transcripts and certificates to the University of Huddersfield if you wish to apply. But if there's an issue where you can't get it for a particular reason, maybe your university doesn't provide it anymore, um, maybe it's been over a certain amount of years, then we can come to that um, conclusion and look into that. It's not an issue at all. So we have a question here, is my English IGCSE accepted? I'm sorry, Tess Valam. I just need to know a bit more about your case. I think it would be best if you can book a meeting with me directly and then we can discuss that because typically it would need to have been that you've studied in the past two years in English. So it, it really does depend on when you studied this qualification, um, if you're working in English for the past 18 months or so. If not, then an English language test might be accepted in your case scenario but of course do book the meeting in so that we can discuss this in further um depth and be able to help you really i have a question here saying hi i'm watching for from bahrain hello lovely to meet you um is there any scholarships for a master's degree so at this moment in time there are no scholarships available uh, for this program, um, but we can send you information over about any funding options that may be available either through employer reimbursement, maybe have a look through there and see if that might be helpful as well. You're more than welcome to book a meeting with me directly um, if you wanna discuss this in further detail, not a problem at all.
Uh, we have a question from Nancy for performance-based students. They start in January or September. Um, well, really down to you, Nancy. Do you want to go forward for January, May or September? The next cohort is January 2025. Um, if you were to be accepted through the performance-based admissions route, you will need to uh, study the strategic management module um, and successfully complete it to then be invited onto the full master's degree in uh, September 2025. But of course, really down to you what would be best. If you are interested in January 2025, then the applications are open at this moment in time and you can put an application forward as well um, and see if you get accepted. Okay, great questions, guys. Please keep rolling them through. I'm just going through these now as they're coming through now. Okay. I have a question here. I'm a US citizen. Is there someone somewhere else I can upload required documentation like my ID? Yes. Yeah, so the way that it would work with your application uh, is that you would need to provide your um, application ID, such as a driver's license or a passport when applying for the program. Um, if you're having any issues with that, it, please feel free to uh, send it over to the University of Huddersfield directly um, and then they should be able to help you. If you don't have um, email address, please feel free to book a meeting with me and I can send that across to you and I can help you escalate that issue as well. Not a problem at all. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Keep getting these questions coming through. I can see them all, which is great. Okay. I have a question here about campus. Can I visit campus and attend a lecture in person? So just to inform you, this is an entirely online program and students cannot transfer onto campus. So, but when you complete your course, you'll have the opportunity to visit Huddersfield in person um, to attend your graduation ceremony, which is really exciting. So you'll be able to celebrate your success and meet your co uh, course mates and tutors in person as well. Yes, the, the QR code is scheduled to have a meeting with me directly. You're more than welcome to book a meeting in. I'm more than happy to go through this with you. It will also be uh, the link for my colleagues as well. So if you want to book in a meeting again, you'll be able to do so with someone from the Coursera team. No question is too daft at all. I've just read a fantastic question here is... If all goes to plan and I graduate, will I be required to attend uh, any ceremony in person? Um, of course, that's not a daft question at all. That's a great question. So thank you for putting that forward. Um, you will be invited to graduate with the University of Huddersfield on campus. But of course, if you cannot attend, please do not worry or panic. Uh, we will be able to send it over to you, your certificates and transcripts as well. So um, it's not a daft question at all, but thank you for posting it. I have a question here. Um, is the performance-based module in January for everyone? So US student, okay. So it's more about you and your application. So for example, if you have, um, if you've never studied a bachelor's degree before, or you have a very low uh, grading bachelor's degree, if you apply through the performance-based acceptance route and get accepted for the program, then you can go forward for January. But of course, it's really down to you. There's three intakes um, within the year. You have January, May, and September. The next cohort is January. Applications are open. If you are interested in putting an application forward, then I would highly recommend it and then see if you can get accepted for the January cohort as well. So I have a question here. How is this master's degree different from traditional master's degree? Will future employers be able to see difference from other candidates that have a traditional master's? That's a fantastic question. Thank you so much for putting that forward. So this is a great question because essentially this master's degree of management 
although it's an online degree, although it's on the Coursera platform, when you graduate, it doesn't state it's an online degree, nor does it state that it's Coursera. This degree is exactly the same as if you were studying on campus with the University of Huddersfield. They have the same uh, faculty teaching this program as well. So you're getting the best quality of teaching for this fantastic master's degree of management. Plus, this master's degree of management is great for anyone come from any subject or discipline. You don't need to have a prior knowledge of business in order to go forward for the master's degree. So it will really kind of set you apart and it is, you know, flexible for students. It's a great degree to be able to push yourself forward in your career, whether that be a management role or trying to understand a bit more about how businesses work, really. Or maybe you want to create your own business. But let's say if you want to go forward for a future employer, um, they won't be able to see any difference in terms of the degree itself. So like I said, it doesn't say it's an online degree, it doesn't say it's from Coursera, it'll just say it's a master's degree of management program from the University of Huddersfield. And the University of Huddersfield have so many fantastic accolades and accreditations, you'll be getting some of the best studying and quality of teaching from an online degree. So I hope that's answered your question, but I don't think it should uh, be any different from what you would be doing if you were going on to campus. It's just a lot more flexible for you as a student to be able to study in your own term and your own schedule as well. I hope that answered your question, but of course, if you do have any further questions and you want to discuss it with me in depth, please feel free to scan the QR code. I'm happy to help you. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Um, how many people are usually in a class? So we've just launched this master's degree program. So this will be the second ever cohort um, for the program. So unfortunately, I don't have much more information than that. So I'm sorry, this is for a master's degree of management program. My apologies, John, this is not about political economics or geopolitical education. Um, I would recommend having a look online to see for those specific courses. But for this degree, it's all about the master's degree of management. Okay. So Lydia, your question, and hello from Kenya, a lovely for you to join us. I can see that you graduated last year with a degree in human resources management. You're interested to study the degree course in management, but you need guidance in your application financial aid. And is it a must that you have a driving license? So as it's an online degree, no need to drive anywhere. You can do this all from the comfort of your own home, from your laptop, your PC. So no need to travel anywhere for the program. If you're wanting to have guidance in your application and your financial aid and you need to have a proper discussion, I would recommend to do this through the um, QR code. Scan a meeting, we can discuss this in further detail where I can be able to guide you properly. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that over the webinar right now, but I can happily help you on a one-to-one -one basis. So feel free to book that meeting in. Oh, it's lovely to see a familiar name. Hi, Axa, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Yes, I can see your question here. Um, with regards to your question, I will need to reach out to you directly um, as I understand that you um, had a previous offer. So please feel free to book a meeting with me or reach out to me via email. I'll help you through that personally. It's not a problem at all. These questions are great, guys. Thank you so much. Please get keep them coming through. Okay. Okay. So I have a question here. As I'm a professional who took his master's degree years before, do I need my university to take the required certifications for the master's degree from ma management from Huddersfield? Thanks for responding. Great question. No problem at all. I'm happy to help. So the way that it would work is that if you've done a prior master's degree, um, depending on how long ago you did it, um, you will need to provide evidence and of your qualification. Um, I appreciate that sometimes some universities don't have transcripts after a certain amount of years, but a certificate would need to be provided as well in this scenario. So um, hopefully that helps. Okay. Okay, Ona, so you graduated from a school in Nigeria with a 2-1 bachelor's degree in management, congratulations. What are the requirements for me to join the program? 
you can put yourself forward as a standard student as you meet the requirements before a uh, two two bachelor's degree so you can put your application forward as mentioned through the application process but of course if you have further questions that you want to understand then please do book a meeting and I can go through that with you um can I use my master's degree certificate to work in any country um this degree as I mentioned when you graduate it's a master's degree in management doesn't say it's an online degree doesn't say it's from Coursera it will be the same as if you were studying on campus and graduating so if you wanted to use the master's degree certificate in order to maybe go forward for further academics or work you can in terms of working in any country um, I just want to understand do you mean like the certificate itself is it valid it, it is a valid master's degree so it should help you but in terms of working in any country that does depend on the job that you're going for the country that you're working in um, you know if they have any requirements if they do you can always reach out to the University of Huddersfield once you graduate to ask for further documentation but I hope that answers your question. Okay, I'm just reading through these questions. Thank you so much, guys, for sending these over. I really do appreciate it. Um, sorry, Diana, I am discussing about the master's degree of management program, not a different program. My apologies. So I wouldn't be able to answer that question, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I'm not associated with that program either. So I'm really sorry. I can't help you with that. Okay. Um, translated copies will be needed. So I have a few questions here and I thought I would answer all of them in one go, but if you have a certificate or a transcript that it's in a different language and it doesn't have the English side by side, you will need to get a translated copy in order to provide to the University of Huddersfield as well. Um, a notified translator should be more than sufficient for that. Um, I have a question here about st staying in the UK under dependent visa. Help me to know if I can apply as an international student or not. This degree program can take on students from all over the world. It's not home or international. Um, the, the fee would be the same for students all over the globe. You do not need a visa in order to study for this program either. You can study this program anywhere in the globe and um, through your laptop or PC through on the Coursera platform. Okay. Yes, driver's license or passport is required um, as part of the um, application process as you need to provide um, ID in order to apply for the program. So hopefully that helps. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm just going through these questions. Please feel free to keep them coming through. They're great questions. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a question here. I have a UK qualified transcript for postgraduate level seven. Am I eligible for the program? Um, if it's higher than a level six, you can put yourself forward as a standard uh, applicant student. But of course, without speaking to you in further detail and understanding a bit more about your case, um, I'd recommend, like I said, to book a meeting in and we can discuss that in further detail. But yeah, I mean, so long as you have a bachelor's degree or an international equivalent, anything higher than that, you can put forward as a standard applicant. But of course, love to discuss why you're wanting to apply. So feel free to book a meeting with me so I can discuss that and help you really. Uh, is this a program that will always be available or just for a limited time? This degree program has just launched since September 2024 and it will be going for um, available all the time. You can apply through January, uh, May, September, uh, whenever is best. So if you are interested in applying, Nancy, please do feel free to put your application forward or book a meeting with me if you want to know a bit more about the program. Not an issue at all.
yes, so long as it's a UK level six um, equivalent, that should be more than sufficient for uh, applying as a standard student. And of course, if you don't need that, um, then you can always apply through the performance-based route. I've seen a few questions about the validity of your qualification. And of course, as Diane has put into the chat box below, you can just double check um, what the equivalent is. But so long as it's a bachelor's degree, you can put yourself forward for the programme as a standard student. And anything else, you can go forward as a um, performance-based. Yes, um, I have a question here from Frederico. I'd like to know if the PBA module is one of the three courses in the master's program and if these align with the entry dates in January, May or September. Yes, the strategic management module is part of the curriculum for the master's degree of management. If you are successful in finishing and completing it and you pass, then you can be um, invited for the full master's degree intake in September 2025. And that will be down to the central application board at the University of Huddersfield. Um, all the modules that are up for the PBA route are already part of the curriculum like i said it's not a pre-sessional test it's not something you have to do outside of the degree program it will be included so once you uh, successfully complete it it will then be added towards your curriculum anyway um okay fantastic please feel free to keep them coming through i'm just reading through them all So for any students who have come in through late, I totally appreciate it. Don't worry, a recording of this webinar will be sent out to you afterwards as well. So you can always rewatch it whenever you have this time. But of course, if you wanna have further information about the program, you can check the Coursera website. You can check University of Huddersfield's website for further information. Um, and for this program, as I've mentioned before, and to answer this question, that we have here, if you have a bachelor's degree program um, that you've studied at a previous university and you want to put it forward for this master's degree, you can apply as a standard student. For students who do not hold a bachelor's degree or may hold a very low grade uh, bachelor's, you can be going forward for the performance-based applications admissions route. So, for this degree program, you'll be learning about the theory and then about how to practically apply it onto um, the program as well. This was actually discussed with the um, Dr. Haley German and she does discuss this. So if you want uh, further information about that, I'd highly recommend for you to watch through that webinar and I can send that over to you, Hamza, not a problem at all. Great. So. Any more questions that are coming through, please do send them across. It's really great to understand a bit more um, about what your questions and queries and concerns are. And of course, you're more than welcome to book a, a meeting with me or anyone from the team or call Sarah by booking it through the QR code here on the slide as well. Okay, I can see that there are no more questions. So if we go on to the next slide, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone that's attended. Before we wrap up, I would encourage you to connect with um, the enrollment team here at Coursera. We're happy to help answer any questions that you have and make sure that you have everything that you need to know about the program. Please feel free to schedule another meeting. Diana will drop this into the chat box below. But I just wanted to say once again, thank you to everyone for joining the webinar and staying all the way to the end. Um, if I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Bye everyone.